One of the things our company specializes in is lake mapping. It helps us find the depths and contours of all the pond areas. Lake mapping is a tool that can be used for lake maintenance and for predicting when dredging might be necessary. There's a lot of uses for bathymetric mapping. You can use it to quantify very specifically the volume of a pond so that you can quantify the treatment properly. That's especially important in larger bodies of water where a little bit of an error up, up or down on the size or depth of the pond can make a big difference in the cost of the type of treatment you do. But probably the primary reason we use the tool of, of bathymetric mapping is to prepare pond and lake owners, especially homeowners associations, for the necessity to dredge a pond every time. At some point in the pond's history, that pond will have to be dredged. Sediment buildup is bad in the pond because you decrease the water depth in your pond. And with decreased water depth in your pond, you can have increased aquatic weeds and algae growing in the pond because you have less water volume. And also you have less room for water to come in during rain events. By doing bathymetric mapping, we can compare the pond currently to what it was when it was built. We can look up how much sediment has accumulated in the pond. We can then come up with a sediment rate over time and predict forward when that pond is going to have gotten so much sediment in it that it's no longer functioning properly and then also help quantify not only when they will have to dredge, but quantify how much it's going to cost to dredge by quantifying the cubic yards of sediment that'll have to be removed. So lake mapping is a great tool for using in maintenance and for predicting when dredging may be necessary. Bathymetric maps are also used by recreational fishermen in order to find good fishing holes or other places where fish may be located uh, during the summer, spring, winter, fall. Fish are in different parts of the, of the lake depending on water depths and you can use that as a tool to help find those fish during those different times of the year.